Chat, is this season this bad? Like, why are my frames dropping to zero every second, man? Everyone seems to be getting FPS drops in this new season. So today, I'm going to showcase every potential fix to overall improve your performance. If it helps, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Let's begin with a quick system check by opening up the CMD. Inside here, I like to paste in this command that I'll have in the description. And what this does is it checks your entire PC for incorrect, changed, or corrupt Windows files. And if any corruption does appear, here for myself as you can see there's actually none you can then paste in this command that i'll also have in the description what this will do is it'll go through and actually find all the missing slash incorrect corrupt windows files and actually replace them for you but there's no need to run that if no corruption has been detected i was just using this as an example oh another thing as well after running those checks i like to paste in this command and it'll basically do a quick scan to make sure all the issues were fixed next in the epic games launcher find fortnite and click on options once inside the install all options you'll see this setting here called pre-download streamed assets and it's really important that you have this selected as what this setting does is it pre-installs assets that would normally be streamed into the game when you do join and that right there is the main culprit for a lot of people's game stuttering so it's really essential that you have this setting turned on as for the other settings that's dx12 shaders you want to use this if you use directx12 however if you use performance mode you should have this deselected high resolution textures this is responsible for making the game look better but that can come at the cost of FPS so if you want a slight boost to go ahead and disable that do keep in mind your game will look slightly worse then you've got save the world which is files for a completely separate game if you don't play that just go ahead and deselect it oh and while you are still in the epic games launcher if you go into settings at the top right you want to scroll down until you see desktop notifications and disable both of these settings what this does is it disables those frequent annoying pop-ups that are notorious for causing FPS stutters next you want to go into gaming under game bar make sure this is disabled as I've heard that it can actually cause stutters. You've also got captures too. I like to go ahead and turn this off and we've got game mode. This is something I really like and I do use now these days as I feel like it does make my frame rate more stable but just under that you want to go into graphics. Change default graphics settings. If you see this setting called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling you want to turn it on to reduce system latency and improve performance and then if you play full screen windowed mode like Peterbot does you want to make sure you enable optimizations for windows games as this will reduce latency once you do restart your pc oh and if you click on browse here and find the client itself this is the name of it you'll see that it's on the list if you click options and select high performance this 100 percent ensures that you are not using integrated graphics next if you have discord or google chrome open in the background while you do play for discord you can go into the settings under advanced and disabled hardware acceleration as a lot of people don't know but this can be the number one culprit for fps draw so if you are experiencing any, you definitely want to try turning off this setting. Yes, your Discord won't be as smooth, but it's definitely worth it if you are getting any sort of drops or stutters. Same with Google Chrome as well. If you go into the settings, I've got the steps on screen, you can disable hardware acceleration. But like Discord, this will also not be as smooth if you do disable this setting. Next, on the desktop, press Windows key and R. Then type in percentage sign local app data. Then you want to press F, scroll down until you find Fortnite game. And this right here is what we're we're going to be resetting. We're essentially going to delete it, but if you're a bit worried about that, you can make a backup, but I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for it and literally press the delete button. And just like that, it's been deleted. And the reason for this is it gets rid of all the old outdated files and replaces them with brand new ones. After that, once you do open the game, you might get a very tiny update. But once you see the lobby screen, you'll notice your graphic settings have been reset. So now what you want to do is optimize them. Under video, ensure that the windowed mode is on full screen. This is super important so you don't get any issues resolution we're not going to change yet keep this on your native one these things you want off frame rate limit you can have on unlimited or you can match your monitors hertz or refresh rate rendering mode you want to change this to performance as this will lower the graphical quality in game and boost your fps graphics are all personal preference graphics quality you want to set all of these to the lowest possible but keep 3d resolution on 100 percent but all of these should be on near low or off and if you scroll down to the bottom you've got nvidia reflex low latency i like this on as it does reduce my latency a ton but if you feel like this is affecting your fps you can turn it off next you want to go into the game settings and you want to scroll down to the bottom until you see these settings right here called energy saving modes a lot of people have reported that when they have these enabled so on it gives them fps stutters which isn't ideal at all so i recommend you go ahead and disable both of these options oh and while you are in here you'll see above you've got the replay settings i like to disable 
table, the majority of these, as these two can also negatively affect your performance in game. After that, head into audio and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the subtitles button. Inside here, copy exactly what I've got. You want to turn the subtitles off, you want to make the text size extra small, you want to make the text colour white, the text border on none, and then the background opacity on clear. And that right there is a little trick used by Bugger to slightly boost your FPS, so be sure to give it a go if you haven't already. Don't forget to apply and close down the game. Next, on the desktop, press Windows key and R. I then type any of these on screen, so temp, uh, temp again, or prefetch. And what this does is it brings up all of your temporary files, which you can then delete or rather clear out. Like I mentioned, there's three that you can clear out. As you can see, I'm just finishing up with the prefetch one. From there, you should head back into the local updater folder. Uh, any method is fine. But once you are inside, you should find the Epic Games launcher. You then want to go into saved, and then at the bottom here, you should see either one or two folders called web cache. They'll both have slightly different names, and what you want to do then is just delete them. What this does is it clears out your Epic Games cache, and basically when you next open it up, it'll rebuild and hopefully perform a lot better. Next, we're going to update our GPU drivers because using outdated ones can cause FPS stutters. This isn't essential, but a lot of people these days tend to use NV Clean Install. It's a free app that removes NVIDIA bloatware by allowing you to customise and select what driver components you want installed, removing certain bloatware like this on screen. However, I myself don't like to mess around with my NVIDIA driver components as I myself do actually use them. So instead, I like to just head into my GeForce Experience app or even better, the new NVIDIA app and I like to just download the latest drivers via clicking that green download button. Having the latest drivers is the best practice as outdated drivers can be the main cause of crashes and performance issues. There's also an alternative method to get them. Just Google NVIDIA drivers, click on the NVIDIA website, then input your GPU and you can select the latest one from there. And finally, if you are still getting game stutters, it's important that you understand what the minimum and recommended system specs are to play the game because you might just need a PC upgrade. Here are the minimum system requirements. That's the GPU you need, the CPU you need, the RAM you need and the operating system. And then here are the recommended system requirements you need so to get like decent FPS. This is the GPU you need. This is the GPU RAM you need. This is the processor. This is the system RAM. Hard drive to recommend an SSD drive and then OS which you all should have. And if you want to expect really high frame rate these are the system specs you do need. That is all I've got for now though. If it helped please drop a like, subscribe and consider using my creator code in the item shop.